Good morning everybody, how is it going? Today we are playing Bloodseeker, we are going into the mid lane. This was random draft. Our team is uh, uh, a problem, but uh, that's alright. I'm not getting this. But uh, Okay, so that's cute. Uh, we might be able to actually beat him up. I don't know. No, we're not getting him. That's alright. Oh well, so we're playing Bloodseeker, we're going into the mid lane. We're gonna see what we can make happen here. And, uh, yeah, so that's mostly the plan. Now, a little bit of something else. Today, or actually over the past two days already, but I kind of waited a little bit uh, before telling you, because I think today is the important day. Uh, the Smash Summit takes place. Now, what the fuck is the Smash Summit? The Smash Summit is not some weird, like, you know, thing. Where they all decided to... To, to come together and play Smash Brothers. Although that would be pretty cool. That That's not actually the thing. <laughs> What's going on is. You guys know Beyond the Summit. Right? Like you all know Beyond the Summit. Yeah. The Dota Studio. They are hosting a Smash Brothers tournament. Which is called the Smash Summit. Now what is the Smash Summit? The Smash Summit is basically. The 16 best players they could find. All in the uh, Summit House. Playing Smash over the course of four days. Now, over the past two days, they have mostly done nonsense like Mafia and uh, Pichu Ditos and that kind of shit. Right? It's just like, ah, okay, this is really funny, but let me be honest, like, this is something that is mostly for the people that already really love Smash, right? Like me, for example, um, but it's not gonna be super interesting to the rest of the world. Now, today and tomorrow, there's gonna be the main event, which is a big tournament between, again, Basically, the 16 best players they could find, well, not, and we're available, right? Like, what they did is the following. They invited the top 10 players in the world, right? Just based on ranking, just based on ranking. And then, you know, some of those just declined. For example, Hungrybox declined. So now that the probably third best, fourth best, by, best player in the world is missing, um, they just went down and asked the 11th best. Right, and they continued on with that list uh, until they had ten players, like the ten best players they could find that are available or were available. And then they also made it uh, made a vote, right, where people could vote for the last six spot. And so it's a sixteen man in invitational, and those sixteen players are all really fucking good. <laughs> now you're not gonna find a higher higher caliber of tournament ever, right? On top of that, it's all in the um, like summit house, and it's it's just like the Beyond the Summit um, Dota tournaments, right? Where they are all like chilling on the couch, and everybody's having a good time, and it's just you know mostly like it's kind of partially just hanging out and partially tournament, if that makes sense. And that works really well with Smash people because those are some chill motherfuckers, right? So I can only recommend it. Right, I've been watching over the past two days, and it's absolutely hilarious. But today is when the big tournament starts, right? And again, that is about the highest caliber of play we're gonna see. Well, actually, saying in a long time, um, might be wrong because soon there's gonna be a tournament coming that is uh, an exception. Let's say it that way, right? Genesis Three is happening. The last Genesis was 2008 or something like that. So, <laughs> yeah, that doesn't really count now, but. The point is just that I want you all to go take a look at the Smash Summit. Just go beyond the Summit, right? You all know this, do you? Um, yes, the Dota people. You can see some Dota people even in the background, right? While all of the Smash people are having a good time and fucking around, you can just randomly see LD in the picture. Like, that's just the thing that happened. And um, I can really only recommend it. It's It's been absolutely hilarious. Just a great event all around. And... Um, yeah, you, sh you should take a look. Definitely. Okay. I think we should be fine here, honestly. Um, I don't know what you can do with us. <laughs> Is he out of mana? Yeah. Uh, kind of. Okay, we just gotta heal up now. Yeah, uh, I've been missing a few last hits. I'm sorry, I usually do a warm-up game. I know, that sounds silly, but I need a warm-up game. Uh, I didn't do one today because I was busy watching the Smash Summit. <laughs> Fuck you! This is a tournament I've been looking forward to for a long time, and I wanted to watch the Smash Summit. So I kind of caught up on the Smash Summit. Uh, a nice thing they also do at the Smash Summit is they actually restream, restream it for Europeans. Right? So they have the original stream, and then after that is over, they restream it all. And um, like for us poor European people that 
you know, can't stay up until 4 a.m. Even though uh, yeah, I don't. Um, <laughs> you know, they just kind of show it again, which is really nice. Okay, yeah, it's fine, all right, don't worry about it, man. I mean, what's really the issue here? No. No touching of the Bloodseeker. Thank you, I appreciate it. Okay. Oh, uh, well. <clears throat> so. Yeah, I, I don't mind taking damage. Like, he's using mana, and I'm losing nothing. Alright, like, I just heal up immediately because of Bloodseeker. <laughs> why? Because Bloodseeker. That's, that is why. I got a kill. Why? Because Bloodseeker. <laughs> this hero's silly. Very much so. Very much so. But he's pretty good. So I, I appreciate it. Also, um, you know, they do have anti-mage, so he's gonna do very well this game. Bloodseeker is... Is a hero that I would cons consider as some like a soft counter to Antimage, right? Not a hard counter. It doesn't shut him down entirely, and Antimage still Antimage still gets to play the video game, right? But a soft counter, as in he can really just pose a huge threat to Antimage, just because you can't blink, and Antimage needs to blink, right? And Antimage isn't blinking. I mean, what is he really doing? What's the point of the hero, really, if he can't blink, right? So. <clears throat> anyway, uh, let me go and grab this. Grab a TP as well. This hero is very good at, you know, reinforcing during a fight. The... Oh, he's back. Don't worry about it. We got it. Thank you. If you could not, that would be appreciated. <laughs> I'll beat you up again. I'm not afraid. Fuck that. Yeah, let's go. I'll beat you up so good, man. You won't even see it coming. You're not gonna have a fun time with that. <laughs> Don't fuck with me. I'll blow your face off. Night Soccer's going top. If I say he's going top, I don't mean he might be coming top. I mean he is top. Get back. Okay, good. Good. Now that we've got that cleared up. But yeah, go watch the Smash Summit. It's a hilarious tournament. Um, It's really funny. Because like all of the Smash people are like... there. There's a lot of personality going on there. Right, like all of those, th th it's really good. I I don't know how else ca I can really praise it other than saying it's just very good. It's definitely worthy of your time, even if you don't usually watch Smash. Right, I would still recommend it. You'll you'll quickly understand what's going on, and you have people like Mewtwo King on the commentary, which, uh, in case you don't understand, like what's the significance of having Mewtwo King on the commentary? So Mewtwo King is probably the person that knows the most about Smash Brothers in the entire world. All right. That's just because he's a little weird. <laughs> but he's weird in the good kind of sense. And um, it makes it really funny because he did commentary earlier. And literally all he did was say, oh, that was bad. This was this was good. He should have done that instead. And he gives you like super, super nice insight on everything, which is highly interesting, at least to me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just farming here. Honestly, this is... All right with me. You may have noticed I I'm really not making like big efforts to leave the lane. That's because I don't think I have to, right? Like I I am getting basically free farm here, so why would I go somewhere else? Right? That's just my line of thinking there. Radiance toughened up. I don't know what I'm doing up here. Honestly, I was kind of hoping to kill the camp. Before, you know, the creeps get back into the lane, but that's not gonna happen. Yeah, it's a little awkward. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. no! Fuck you. Okay, you're dead now. Probably. Yes. Good. Fuck you! Shit. I didn't know the tower was in the night range. I didn't think it had taken that much damage already. I should have checked, but I just honestly didn't see that coming at all. Mistakes have been made. That's all right. That's all right. I also figured out how to last it. <laughs> so that's fine. Yeah, every time you see that, where I'm just missing a lot of last hits in the beginning, that's because I didn't have my warm-up game. Right? I don't know. I just need that. I don't, I, I don't know if I'm the only one that play, that is like that, right? But the first game of the day, I always play much worse than any of the others. And uh, that's just how it is. Right? There's no good reason for it. That's just how it is. <laughs> so, yeah. 
Okay, what are we building here? BKB will absolutely be necessary, right? There's no way around the BKB this game. Um, the big question is, what do we get apart from that? Or maybe even before the BKB. Uh, Desolator, I think, is always a ton of fun. You just deal so much damage. But the, their heroes are pretty tanky, so I feel like... I don't know, actually. We have a tricky lineup to go up against. So there's a lot of magic going around there, right? Even Anti-Mage, who I know it sounds a bit silly, but... Yes, the guy that hates magic, very much magic-based. <laughs> uh, why is he magic-based? Uh, because the mana burn is magic, so you can block it with BKB, right? Um, the ultimate is magic, so... And those are really his two biggest sources of damage, so those are the things we are worried about. Um... Other than that, Titan are pretty obvious, right? We don't want to get hit by the ultimate, Sand King, Clockwork, Night Stalker. That all makes sense. I don't think I need to explain those. It's just those heroes have a lot of scary abilities that do magic shit. <laughs> That's just, they are wizards, kind of. I mean, one is a watermelon, but that doesn't stop him from being a wizard now, does it? What are you, a watermelonist? Okay, that doesn't work. I meant to go with, like, some racist shit, but... Watermelon mist. I don't even know what that's supposed to be, honestly. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Okay. Um. Yeah, I, I... Oh, hello. Fuck you. Dead. You died. Goodbye. <laughs> the video game is over for you. For at least the next 20 seconds. So have a good night, everybody. Have a wonderful day. So we could get Sange and Yasha, which is a, probably the the good choice here. I mean, they also have pretty fast heroes. Yeah, I like the Sange and Yasha just because they are really fast. Like, if you look at that, Clockwork can freaking hookshot himself around. Titan is gonna buy Blink and Force Stuff. Um, Clockwork is actually probably gonna buy Force Stuff too. A Sand King, of course. Anti-Mage, Night Stalker is just really quick in terms of running. So, yeah, I think Asenji and Yasha, which then uh, helps me catch up, is going to be probably a decent idea. Okay. You don't fucked up, man. Again. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that again. I'm not afraid. That was like the third time in a row. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually the third time in a row. That is not even like the third time in a row. That is the third time in a row. Enough. I'll take it. I mean, free kills, right? I'm not going to complain about that. It's really that simple. We take those. We take those. <laughs> okay. All right. One thing that uh, I might... I, I, did, I think this is probably going to work if I'm going to try to advertise the, the Smash thing. There is, basically what they did is they flew out two commentators, um, which are Homemade Waffles and Phil, right? And those two guys, they they are known for non-professional commentary. And not only are they known for that, but that is why people, I guess, hire them, right? Like, they do the silliest shit in terms of commentary. And it's not the usual, like, oh, he's going in, and oh, the black hole. It's not like that at all. <laughs> it's not even close. So if you want to know what unprofessional Smash commentary is like, is like, where already, like, regular Smash commentary could be kind of considered unprofessional in comparison to other things, then uh, you're in for a fucking treat, man. Like, this is gonna be... Oh, okay. Uh, I'll come in. And I'll I'll do this on a Night Stalker. And then hopefully we'll... Yeah, no, we did get Ravage, but that's alright, because I'll just kill the Night Stalker anyway. There we go. And then we uh, hit the Watermelon and retreat. We run really fast, like, holy shit. No! No! Okay, 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 okay. We alright, we alright, we alright. This is fine, we got it. We got it, we got it, we got it. We won the video game. All right, good. <laughs> Don't hear me. It's uh, it's all right. Give me mana, though. Give me mana. I didn't buy a bottle. I don't. I don't really like bottle on Bloodseeker that much. 
I don't know, every time I buy it, it just feels like a waste. Because I never have to use it. Alright, except for the mana, but... Um... Uh, uh, bottle isn't even that good at restoring mana. Like, it's good at restoring mana and HP, but if you only get mana out of a bottle, uh, <laughs> it's really not that useful. So... Yeah, I don't know. I don't like it on Bloodseeker. Also because that kind of allows me to be lazy in terms of getting runes and literally just chill on the mid lane forever. And I just hit creeps, which is my favorite thing in the game. <laughs> I, I don't fight people, I hit creeps, man. This game is a farming simulator, in case you didn't know. Dota could be called Hit Creep Simulator. That's what it's about. If you want to win at Dota, you hit creeps. Okay, we might want to go top. Uh, yeah, we definitely want to go top. Pretty fast too, so... Goodbye. That's alright. Let's see what we can do over here. Nothing? Okay, I guess that's fine. We got another kill. Alright, like, we're just trying to get these, um, these going as much as we can. And, uh... Oh, he's tracked, right? They changed track. I'm like, wait, what's going on here? Why do I have vision on him? Oh, look at him. He was trying to bait me into running into one of those power cocks. Goodbye. I'm sorry about this. <laughs> I like this hero. <laughs> oh, man, this is great. You know, you just get to run around the map and fuck people up. Like, it's so fantastic. You're so fast. You're so strong. Right. But I think that's the important thing about Bloodseeker. This hero falls off pretty hard if you don't get this much use out of him early. So you have to do that, right? You actually have to be able to run around the map and fight. Uh, that's, by the way, why I picked up drums, All right? I really like drums on Bloodseeker. I don't... Okay, my, the way I play Bloodseeker is usually a little different from everybody else. Not this game, because I just thought that a lot of movement speed with this ancient Yasha um, is going to be handy. But generally speaking, I actually don't like this ancient Yasha all that much on this hero. I feel like he already has enough movement speed and you don't even need, you don't really have to get more. Again, this game is kind of an exception to that. But, <clears throat> but I always buy drums every single game because I still like having a little bit more movement speed and the drums generally is just good enough for that. Also, they allow you to fight early. Like, it's just such a cheap item with great stats. Oh, you done, you done that. You done fucked up. You done fucked up too! Oh no! That's not okay! No! <laughs> oh got him! <laughs> okay. Not even close. Oh. Okay. Hit him! Okay, he's dealing a lot of damage right now. That's alright. That's alright. Oh, wait. Where is he going? Over there. Wait, he's got... Get back here. <laughs> Don't worry, we got him. I'll buy a Radiance. Why? Because I can. That, that's why. Don't worry, that's just a typical Ricky teamfight contribution. I don't know why we have a Ricky on our team. Ricky is pretty bad. <laughs> I don't like Ricky. <laughs> I think Ricky is one of the most worthless heroes in the game. And you gotta keep in mind, Techies is in the game. I think Ricky is on the same level as that hero. Anyway, uh, we are 19 minutes into the video. If you enjoyed it so far, please don't forget to leave a rating on the video. I definitely appreciate that. And, uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna get, get a Radiance. Because I can. That is literally the reason why. Um, also because it's funny to burn people really hard. Which is what you can do with the Radiance. Like, you just deal a lot of burn damage. You know? Oh, look what I found! It's a free kill! <laughs> oh, look at that! It's another! Oh, wait, is that another? <laughs> oh, you guys are so nice today. Wait, no, I was using this. I'm sorry, I was using the courier. I just kind of got busy killing the entire team in the middle of it. Excuse me. 
I appreciate it. Ah, there we go. Please, man, please. I'm just killing people right now. Let me let me do that and then I'll use the career again. <laughs> What's he? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That guy's level seven. We give him mana. That that clockwork is level seven. Okay? I mean really. What is he gonna do to me? <laughs> like what options does he have? So I'm just saying, I'm just I'm just saying that that might be might be a, a thing to keep in mind. Level 16 against level 7 is maybe not the fairest thing in the world. I mean, that's alright with me because I get to beat some people up, but that's... Uh, okay. So let me go ahead and uh, grab my Radiance. So the funny thing about Radiance is you amplify the burn damage you do. <laughs> So deal like 40% more thanks to the Blood Rage. Because this is a thing that you really need to hammer and you have. Blood Rage amplifies all damage. Right? Um, all damage. If you buy Dagon, you deal more damage with Dagon. Right? It doesn't matter what kind of damage it is that you deal. Blood Rage amplifies it. And that is just so nice. And that's why something that's as silly as Radiance, all of a sudden, it actually hurts really bad. Like it's actually, oh my god. Wait, why are we dying so quickly to this? Well, that's because Blood Rage amplifies all damage. Um. Ah! Retreat! <laughs> no! He left! No! There's this guy hitting me! Get back here! Got him. Totally earned that one, too. Got him. I got him. Not even close. Not even. Yo, buddy. Oh! oh. <laughs> oh no. I don't know. I think Ricky is such a funny hero. And like, just that cloud. Entomage was so confident. It's just, nah, don't worry. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh. Oh. I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. Ugh. Oh, isn't, isn't that unfortunate? Okay, uh... Goodbye. Sorry about this. I, I, I just can't let you do that, man. I, I mean, I would like to do, let you do that, but I, I, I can't. So, I'll just blow you up if that's alright. So, um... The thing is that... I, I know we, we have talked about the BKB. Honestly, I thought the game was going to be a lot more even than this. Uh, that's alright, though. Because uh, that gives me an opportunity to buy Dagon. Which I'm always happy about. And, uh... Yeah, fuck it. I'll just do that. I'll just, just one-shot some people. <laughs> Look. I'm just I'm just playing very serious uh, Bloodseeker. I mean, it's the best item for the hero. For the stats, obviously. Yeah, for the stats. I mean, I need mana. Yeah, for the stats. I mean, I'm... What, what else would you buy Dagon for? Dagon for stats, right? What's even the point of a Dagon if you aren't buying it for stats? Ah, oh, nice. Wait. Wait, I don't have enough gold for... Yes, I do. What the fuck, though? What the fuck, though? I should just let them die to make the game more interesting. But I don't think I will. I'm too greedy for that. Because I want these kills, man. <laughs> I, cannot, I cannot want these kills, man. So. There we go. Okay. So we, ha we have the most important item in the game now. Which is Dagon for stats. Right? Like, you, you, you buy Dagon, so you... No! He has Dagon for stats, dude. I mean, Bloodseeker does need mana. We have encountered this issue a few times during the game. Where we didn't have any mana, which we then didn't need. So, really, there wasn't an issue. <laughs> but, you know, we didn't have any mana. So, now we do have mana. We do have mana. Which is really all that matters. And, uh, so, the, the plan, really, is we have the Q on ourselves. And we put the Q on somebody else. Like so. 
And then, then they are dead already. And then we don't do anything with that. <laughs> and then we're just really disappointed. But that's alright. I guess. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, buddy. Sorry about this one, man. Okay. Okay, okay. <sighs> yeah, you got, got, gotta, gotta, gotta get the Dagon, man. What's the anti mage doing, man? Okay, wait. Your fucking him up so good. I'm, I'm not fucking him up. I really want to fuck him up. If I'm completely honest. Damn it! Wait, maybe. The other fellas uh, save their top tower. Didn't guess right. Damn, I should have stayed at the bottom. I just. I was hoping to TP in out of out of vision. I should have done it even further in the back because as long as I get the hour on him, he's dead. You can't blink out of the ultimate. By the way, that counts as movement, um, unless you're Queen of Pain. Okay, I guess I could explain that since we don't really have anything else going on right now. So the interesting thing about Bloodseeker is you can TP out of the uh, the rupture, right? Now that is not really the mechanic. The mechanic is not that you can TP out of rupture. It doesn't, that's not how it's coded. How it's coded instead is, as long as you that was of me, get transported a certain distance, right, or higher that, that, than that distance, then Bloodseeker's ultimate doesn't deal damage, right? And the Bloodseeker's ultimate always checks for that distance, or checks for how much you have traveled every 0.x seconds. I don't know how much it is exactly, right? Now, the interesting thing is, that distance is 1300, which is really not that high. Right, 1300 doesn't seem crazy high. Now, uh, however, 1300 is enough to make it so that... no, no. But it is enough to make it so that... In most cases, it's it's enough. Right. In most cases, it's, it's not gonna be that you can... Um, TP away and, and just be fine or something like that. Get out! <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, I got distracted. I mean, I'll explain it again after I'm done killing everything. Um, come on! Ga got it! I uh, did even die to the tower. So, I gave 800 gold to literally everybody on their team. Um, oops. <laughs> uh, hmm. Okay, well, uh, that's that's unfortunate then. But, so let me just go ahead and explain that really quick. So, as long as you teleport, oh, like, so as long as you move a distance that's higher than 1300 over that time frame, right, then uh, you're not going to take any damage. So, all blinking in the game is lower, uh, is 1300 or lower, right? The highest range blink in the game is Queen of Pain. So, she is really the only one that we are worried about. She's the only one that matters, right? Storm doesn't take damage anyway because he's... Invincible while his ultimate is going on, so it doesn't act retroactively, it just deals instantly damage. And if you're invincible, you don't take any, so that doesn't matter. Uh, the only thing that is really interesting is Queen of Pain, and why is Queen of Pain interesting? Because she has a blink range of exactly 1300, so she covers that distance. So as long as you just blink, you're still inside of the margin, right? And you still take damage, you still take the 1300 damage, you take actually the maximum amount of damage you can take. Now, where it gets interesting is once you shift Q movement out of the blink, right? So if you blink the max distance and then you shift Q movement out of the blink, you're moving more than the 1300 distance, even if it's just by one. Dota doesn't check if it's, ah, you know, that's still in there, it's just one, that doesn't matter. No, 1300 or less. 1300 and one, you don't take damage. So you blink and then you instantly move because you shift queued the movement then you have moved more than 1300 in that time frame and you will not take damage uh it's really weird really weird it's one of those odd mechanics where i personally i'm like really does that need to be in the game right but that's how it is and uh i suppose that's all right right it's uh, there is definitely definitely worse stuff in the game in terms of odd mechanics but it's it's something worth keeping in mind I am fairly certain that it still works this way. Fairly certain. I don't know if they changed it, but I would be surprised if they did. I did not read the patch note about that. If they did change it, then uh, you just heard a little bit of trivia 
that may or may have be, or was relevant at the international last year or this year actually. But yeah, <laughs> Bloodseeker, I guess. Again, it's just a little weird, but that's just how it is. Kind of a shame we died right here. Twenty-three and one doesn't sound as nice as twenty-three and zero, does it? <laughs> I got a rampage though. I did get a rampage. I, I mean, that kind of makes up for it. <clears throat> Okay, so what we do now is we really murder people really hard. Like we super death kill them. Super murder kill death. And and then they are dead. That that is that is the plan. <clears throat> That's how we're gonna do it. Because we do have Dagon five and we do have Ethero. So No he's in this timing. Okay, meep map. Let's apply that. The dream is to get this on somebody else and then just blow them the fuck up. <laughs> like that. Yeah, like that. <laughs> oh, no, Rampage. A uh, Ravage. Not Rampage. It would be funny, though. It was actually like an ability like that. It just gave you a Rampage. Um, funnily enough. I kind of have it, which is called right click people really hard. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright. Alright. We actually lost a lot of allies there. I'm kind of surprised by that. Yeah, I had Omni Knight buffing me, so I didn't get hit by shit. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. There we go. Got all of this, got all of that, all of that, sure, why not? While we are it, might as well, right? I mean, while we are it. That's so mean. Look, he deserves it. I'm sure. I don't know, I don't know if he does, but I'm sure he does. I mean, let's be honest, he's playing Dota. He's Dude, no. No, he plays Dota. He's probably an asshole, let's be honest. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> That's alright, I'm fine with that. I just wanted to blow him up for hooking me. <laughs> I don't worry, I saw that. I saw that. I don't really care. So, uh... 26 and 2 or something like that. Bloodseeker! That's how we do it. Yeah, pretty easy, pretty solid. Uh, can I just point one thing out? So, uh... It's, uh okay, I, I, I know I'm gonna sound like an asshole right now. Right, but... Um, I just want to say this. Right, like, let's just assume I was the best player in that game. Okay? Let's just assume that. Are we cool with that? Good. Because all I want to say is I want to point at the last hit score. Alright? I was mostly killing people, 28 and 28 uh, kills, 10 assists, right? A wall that's a 38, 38 num, 38 value, right? And the next highest is like 22, right? So I have, I was the most involved in fights. I also had the most last hits by far, right? I have more last hits than the rest of my team combined, and I have more last hits, far more last hits than anybody on their team. That's just because I prioritize farming. Right, and that's really something that you guys should maybe like keep in mind. Yes, you can fight, but if you aren't fighting and you aren't farming, then you might as well go AFK because you aren't contributing. Right, like you either fight or you farm. Gotta do one of the two. And um, I, I, I'm always farming. Right, like it's just uh, whatever. And I don't want to sound like a douchebag, even though we kind of do right now. But I just wanted to give you that tip, right? Like, I, f I thought that was an interesting statistic. That even though I was the one that was fighting the most, I was also the one farming the most. And that's really important. So, yeah. Anyway. Uh, let me go ahead and do the giveaway. Let me go ahead and do the giveaway really quick. If I can, I'm sorry, my YouTube has been acting up. And I, I don't know, my YouTube page, like, my comments page isn't loading properly for some reason. But, no, worked this time. Okay, there we go. Today's winner would be... Ron Dennis 
also here. Balmy Clockwork is a good mid hero because he needs mana, so a bottle is good. Okay. Well, a Clockwork is not a good mid hero. And you aren't aren't a good mid hero because you need mana. I mean, I'm not going to argue that bottle is good on, uh, on Clockwork. It is. But not me needing mana doesn't mean you're a good mid hero. And Clockwork is not a good mid hero. But anyway, uh, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about what item I'm going to give you. How about this? This is a, uh, an Ember Spirit set. Looks like this. Actually pretty neat. I didn't know I had that. Hmm. Anyway. But if you want that, feel free to send me a message. I'm going to give it to you. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a rating on the video. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody.